Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between DC machine and the synchronous machine. It is very simple. Generally, DC machine nothing but synchronous machine plus commutator is nothing but DC machine. Synchronous machine nothing but DC machine minus commutator is nothing but synchronous machine. I will give you explanation about what is commutator. Just wait. And generally the DC machines are double excited machines. Of course Synchronous machines are also double excited machines. Both are double excited machines. Generally, in DC machine, we have a field winding and armature winding. Even in synchronous machine, also we have a field winding and armature winding. But in DC machine, field winding placed on stator and armature winding placed on rotor. Here in synchronous machine, field winding placed on rotor and armature winding placed on stator. Here note this point, generally field winding also placed on stator and armature winding also placed on rotor. This can be used for low rating applications, not for high rating applications be remember but we are not mentioning this one we are only mentioning field winding on the rotor armature winding on the stator so this is generally the dc machine and synchronous machine main differences sir why here the armature winding should be placed on rotor this is very important for commutation for commutation process, we must place the armature winding on the rotor. Sir, if armature winding placed on stator, what will happen? If armature winding placed on stator, there is no commutation process. If there is no commutation, this is not a DC machine. This is like a synchronous machine. But here, why the armature winding placed on stator? Here we have a many advantages. I told you already. Here, easy collection of current and better insulation and good voltage regulation and like uh, many advantages are there when the armature winding placed on stator. Leakage flux is less, leakage reactance is less. Like that, many advantages are there, armature winding on the stator. So, these are the main difference between DC machine and synchronous machine. For example, if you take DC generator, this is DC generator. For example, this is synchronous generator, nothing but alternator. Whatever, generally generators given by the mechanical input, and here we have a armature winding which produces the voltage which is AC. Here also we are giving mechanical input to the machine. And here we have an armature winding which produces the EMF which is AC only. The EMF induced in the armature winding is AC. Is this is a DC machine or synchronous machine, whatever it may be. But here, the output is electrical, which is DC. Here, the output is electrical, which is AC. Sir, here is DC, but here the output is... Actually, the generated voltage is AC, but output is DC. See here, AC and AC, there is no problem. But how it is possible? This is possible due to commutator. This process is called commutation. This process is main of DC machine operation. Sir, so, for example, take a DC series, DC motor. 
and synchronous motor. If you take a DC motor, for example, DC motor, the input is electrical, which is DC. Here, in synchronous motor, the input is electrical, which is AC, but in the armature, always it should be AC. Whatever the machine, the armature having AC only, and its uh, output is uh, mechanical, even though its output also mechanical. But here, question is that here is DC, but here is AC. How it is possible? This is due to commutation process only. So, commutation nothing but AC to DC and DC to AC conversion. That's why the commutator is the heart of the DC machine. But here, no need of commutator because there is no any conversions. This is the difference between DC machine and the synchronous machine, which is very important. Is it okay? Right? Understood? Right. Now, what is the basic principle of DC machine? In the in generally, in DC machine, first we are going to discuss about generators. After completion of generators, then after we are going to discuss about motors. Is it okay? So now, first I am going to discuss about generators. Is it okay? So, first of all, DC generator. My heading is DC generator. I told you already. DC generator nothing but which converts mechanical to electrical, right? So first give the definition for DC generator. See here. The definition for DC generator is a rotating electrical machine. Electrical nothing but DC. A rotating electrical machine which converts mechanical energy into the electrical energy. This is a rotating electrical machine, electrical device, which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy is called DC generator. Nothing but, see here how the DC generator, for example, this is my DC generator. We are giving mechanical input nothing but speed and torque and the output of this generator is electrical which is in terms of voltage and current this voltage and currents are only in terms of dc of course here we have a armature winding which produces the emf is is ac of course here we have a field winding which is excited by the DC. The AC is converted into DC and this is excited by DC only. So, here you have two doubts. One is, what is armature winding? And what is field winding? This is I am asking you. What is armature winding and what is field winding? Armature winding is nothing but a winding which produces the EMF. This is the armature winding definition. Generally, the produced EMF is always AC. Next one, what is field winding? Field winding nothing but which produces the magnetic field. This is called field winding. This field winding is excited by DC supply. Whatever this winding is there, this winding is excited by DC supply. I said you already. That's why DC generator is a double excited machine. We can say that it is a doubly excited machine. Right. This is what DC generator. The brief uh, introduction of DC generator. 